Now we're going to take a look at your options. If you have a Mac that doesn't have Final Cut Studio 2 installed, therefore won't read the XDCAM EX files in uh, .mov format, um, you can still work with them, but you need to download the open source component. So uh, just Google search for it, and you want to search for Parian XDCAM open source component. And the first site that comes up is this discrete cosine. And now you just go to Parian XDCAM component.zip. You download it. And now you just drag this into Macintosh hard drive, the library, and then into QuickTime. Once that's done, you may need to restart, but probably not. But what it does is it basically gives you the XDCAM component. So now you can read your QuickTime files. So before, you may have only heard sound and seen a, a black image, but now you can go in, and I'm just looking at the actual card right here, and go in and look at your .mov files, and now you can actually play them. So this is great because uh, you don't need Final Cut Studio 2 to work with clips that you record in your HM100. And after this component is installed, it means that you can work with these clips in anything from uh, After Effects to iMovie. So let's take a look at iMovie. So from iMovie, we're just going to say Import Movies. And now I'm going to select original size. You don't have to, you can have it downsize. The thing about iMovie is it always converts everything into an intermediate codec when it's not already in a DV codec. So um, it's going to convert it any way we look at it. But let's just uh, now navigate to our folder here, untitled, that's our SDHC card, private, JVC, CQAV, clip. And now I'm just going to import a few of these clips, just pick a few random ones here and save it to our hard drive, we'll create a new event and we'll call this HM100 clip demo. Optimize video, we're optimizing it for the full size, the original file. And we don't want to move them, we just want to copy them, so we want to leave them untouched on the card. Now we'll say import. There we go. Now we have some clips and we can work with them in iMovie. And these were all shot with the HM100. There's one of our clips right there. I'll just take this section, moved in here, and that's the first clip in our sequence. 